my name is Rawa and I'm a sophomore double majoring in public health and molecular and cellular biology. Some of the most enriching experiences I've had thus far at Hopkins have been through my involvement with student groups. Hopkins is an active and engaged campus as it is student driven. With over 400 plus organizations, there are so many opportunities to connect with other people, build teamwork and leadership skills, and most importantly, have fun exploring the wide variety of your interests. Some of our interest areas range from the arts and music. We have a great acapella scene and phenomenal dance teams. We also offer cultural and identity-based organizations through our Office of Diversity and Inclusion, one of my personal favorites. We have Greek life with about 25% of students involved. We also have religious, academic, and professional groups, you name it. Athletics-wise, we offer Division Three sports, except for Division I men and women's lacrosse, as well as intramural and club-level sports. In addition to all of these great student groups, we have our speaker series, which is run by students, the Milton S. Eisenhower Symposium and the Foreign Affairs Symposium. These are great opportunities to bring speakers to campus, such as Bernie Sanders, Bill and I, the science guy. We had Edward Snowden Skype in. So amazing people coming to campus and it's all arranged by students. In my own involvement on campus, I'm a member of our Black Student Union, which provided me with a community as soon as I stepped foot on campus. I was the treasurer this year, so I also developed soft skills of managing a budget and planning events. And so it was a really rewarding experience for me personally, and just getting to connect with the Baltimore community through advocacy work that we did as an organization. I'm also in a sorority, so I'm a part of our Greek life on campus. I'm a member of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. I'm also a part of our Hopkins Community Connection Group, which works to address essential needs of people by providing social needs screenings and connecting people to valuable resources that they may not be aware of. So lots of opportunities to get involved. At the beginning of the video, I said that Hopkins clubs and organizations would allow you opportunities to connect with peers, develop a variety of skills, and have fun. In my experience at Hopkins, I've been able to do all of those things and make lifelong memories and friends in the process. I hope you gained some useful insight from this video, and if you'd like to learn more about the clubs and organizations offered at Hopkins, feel free to tune into our daily information sessions, follow us on social media, and just feel free to reach out and ask any questions. Thank you.